Hey, I'm Janosch from Janosch Workspace and this is a six part series on Loom, the popular video collaboration software. You'll find the link to the entire series in the description down below. And now let's jump right into the video. In this video, we'll create your Loom account and I also want to give you some guidelines on the different pricing plans that Loom has and which one might be the right one for you, uh, depending on your needs. So Loom has three different pricing plans. The first one is the starter plan, which is the free plan. Then we have the business plan, which is just the regular plan for businesses, so for individuals, but also for smaller teams. And then they also have an enterprise plan. There are two main differences between the free plan and the paid plan, which is, uh, first of all, the storage. So the amount of videos that you can have inside of your Loom workspace and also uh, the length of the videos that you can create using Loom. With the free starter plan, you can only create videos that are up to five minutes long, while with the pro plan, you can actually create videos that could be up to six hours long. So um, these you know, are some limitations that you have to keep in mind when using the, fr the free plan, because obviously five minutes might not be enough for all the types of videos that you want to create using Loom. The next big difference is the amount of videos that you can actually store inside of your Loom account. Uh, with the free plan, you can only store up to 25 videos, while with the pro plan, you can basically uh, store unlimited videos in your Loom account, so um, you don't have any limitations there. Now, some other neat features that you get with the pro plan would be, uh, first of all, the uh, transcripts right here. So you get uh, automatic transcriptions and closed captions for videos in English, um, which is quite helpful and some people really need that. Um, and also they have a feature which is called filler word removal, which basically automatically allows you to um, cut out any filler words that you use both from the video and the transcript, which is a really neat feature that we'll look at later. So that's something you also only get with the pro plan uh, and then things like custom branding, engagement insights and so on. So uh, these are things that um, if you need them, you should definitely go for the business plan. So now as a quick like a guideline for which account to choose. Um, the starter plan is great for individuals that just want to create some quick videos and to try out Loom for the first time. Um, it is quite limited in a lot of ways, but it is also enough for many people. So um, you might also just want to test that out. Um, the business plan, that's great for individuals that want to use Loom uh, a lot. So that want, you want to create you know videos that are longer than five minutes, but also want to have lots of videos in Loom. Uh, maybe you're a content creator, maybe you're a teacher and you want to you know, um, just uh, uh, use Loom to create online recordings. Um, and also if you're running a business and you really want your team to collaborate using Loom, which is um, one of the primary use cases for Loom to, you know, get feedback using a Loom, um, to do media, like to do Looms instead of doing meetings. So like people could hold um, presentations using a Loom. So these are the use cases where the business plan is great. Uh, in this case, you will play, pay $8 per creator per month, which means $8 per person that actually, you know, creates videos uh, inside of Loom and that has full access to Loom. Uh, tools. And then the enterprise plan, that's great for companies that are really big. Um, usually, you know, I'd say like 50 people or more, um, 50 employees or more. Um, in these cases, you might want to take a look at the enterprise plan. To create your account, you can use the link in the description down below. Uh, again, that helps support me in creating more videos and content like this. Um, so um, if you want to support me at no additional cost to you and you want to buy a premium plan, for example, um, just use the link in the description down below uh, and sign up for an account through there. And then you can just you know click on sign up, for example, for the starter plan or also for one of the business plans and enterprise plans, and then just click on the button and uh, you'll be taken through their sign up process. Next, you'll want to install the Chrome extension from Loom, uh, which is like the primary uh, tool that you'll use um, to quickly create videos while working in your browser. Be aware that this only has support for Chrome right now. So if you're using Firefox or Safari, then you will have to use the desktop application. But if you're using Chrome, install the Chrome extension from the Chrome Web Store. Uh, again, you'll find the link to that in the description down below. As mentioned before, Loom also has support for other platforms. There's a desktop app for both Mac and Windows. Uh, and they also have a mobile app for both iOS and Android. Um, so if you plan on using Loom on these platforms as well, then you might want to install those apps as well. Again, all the links will be in the description down below. The desktop application actually does have an additional use case or is you know has some functionality that the uh, browser extension doesn't. Um, so I highly recommend that you install both and we'll get to the, like, the actual differences between these different recorders uh, in the later video. All right, that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll create our first video using Loom. Stay tuned and goodbye.